So I got variant number eight, the uh, Deadpool and Mercenary variant, 100% on my main account, and then completion rewards on my second account uh, a few days ago. And variant number eight, I did not have fun with this one. <laughs> I didn't have a bad time, but it definitely wasn't a good time either. This variant had a lot of problems, mostly bugs and glitches, but then there was also a lot of difficulty problem. Venom pool fight, I didn't actually fight that Venom Pool. I fought him when he was nerfed, so I didn't actually get the full experience. Overall, my biggest problem with this variant is just one thing, or two things, I guess. The rewards and the difficulty level. The selection of characters that you can bring in is very small. You can bring in 21 characters, but four of those characters are trophy champions, and then like another four or five characters just straight up suck. So that brings your 20, your selection of 21 characters down to like maybe a dozen. And out of these dozen characters, half are really good and half are about average. And not everyone has a diverse or big enough roster to have all these characters ranked up to bring into this variant. Most variants are directed at cavalier level players, right? A lot of these variants have cavalier level rewards and cavalier level difficulty. This takes the difficulty up a notch because of the selection of characters that you can bring in. Not a whole lot of Cavalier players have a big enough roster to bring in mercenaries and Deadpool characters. They just don't. Only 21 characters and four of those are trophy champs. Those four trophy champs, uh, Wolverine we Weapon X, Red, Deadpool, Gold Pool, and Platinum Pool. I don't even have those on my main Thronebreaker almost 3 million account. I don't even have those. Luckily though, I do have 6 and 5 star Domino ranked up, Sabretooth ranked up, I have Nebula ranked up, I have Hitmonkey ranked up, and I also had Massacre ranked up too. So those were like my MVPs, they really put in a lot of work. But on my second account, which is also Thronebreaker, I was having a little problem because I don't have a lot of these characters ranked up. I have a 5 star rank 5 Black Widow Deadly Origin, 5 star rank 5 Gwenpool, and a 5 star rank 5... Venom pool, but that's basically it. So even Thronebreaker accounts are having a hard time with this variant because the selection of characters just isn't big enough. So I believe the small selection of characters makes this a Thronebreaker level difficulty because really only Thronebreaker players are going to be able to get this 100% because mostly Thronebreaker players only have that big or diverse roster. And that brings me to my second problem, which is the rewards. This is the fourth variant in, in a row, I believe, to have the same exact rewards. This is going back to 2019. These rewards are not cutting it anymore. It's almost 2022 in a month or two, all right? So, Thronebreaker level difficulty with Cavalier level rewards, it's not cutting it. It's not cutting it at all. I would either change one of two things, buff the rewards or buff the selection of characters for this variant. How I would do that is the five star awakening gem needs to be generic. The four to five rank up gem, also generic. The three to four gems, those are already generic, but that needs to be upgraded from 2017 to 2018 characters. And then the sig stones, those all need to be generic. And why only 48? Why, why is Marvel Contest of Champions so stingy with their sig level stones? It needs to be at least like 100 or 75. Or is it tier two alpha in the variants too? There's no tier two alpha at all. You get three tier five basic catalysts, but no tier two alpha. All these rewards are basically focusing on five star rewards. There's only 5,000 six star shards. That needs to be bumped up to 10,000, a full six star. What I would do is these 21 characters, if they have a synergy with a champion of the same class, you should be able to bring in those characters. For example, Domino has a few synergies with a few different mutants. If you bring in Domino, you should also be able to bring in those synergy mutant characters. Same thing with Nebula. She has a couple tech characters she has a synergy with. You should be able to bring those in and they should take away the 95% damage reduction with those characters. That would make this a whole lot easier. So you still have to bring in a mercenary or Deadpool character on your team, but they can also bring in other characters they have a synergy with of the same class. 
But at the end of the day, I'm just sitting here complaining. It's not going to really make much of a difference. I'm just venting and just letting y'all know this variant is bullshit. Very much a bullshit variant. Crappy rewards, crappy character selection. I really don't think what, I really don't know what they were thinking with this one. Once again, Kabam with Marvel Contest of Champions has dropped the ball. Variants are supposed to be fun. I have fun with almost every, every variant, except variant number one, that variant is complete bullshit, and variant number eight, I do not like this one at all. All right, enough of me bitching and moaning. Let's just get straight to the rewards and crystal opening. Like I said, being a Thronebreaker, I'm starting to focus more on six stars every day. I still like to rank up five stars. Like I have five star rank five Hercules, he's amazing. But at the end of the day, I am still trying to focus more on six stars. That being said, I still want a five star Nimrod or Penny Parker. So I'm still going for the featured five star. And um, unfortunately, I don't think I got her. <laughs> yeah, I got a freaking Drax. Whenever a Drax gets a buff, I'm ready. Cause my Drax is like Sig 140. Yeah, 140. I'm ready for a Drax buff. I also went for the featured six star cause there's a few champs I want. I want to awaken. I want to awaken my Human Torch, uh, Medusa, Iceman, Stark Spider-Man. Of course, I want Hercules as a six star. So I'm gonna go for a couple more of these featured six stars before I call it quits. Unfortunately, I didn't get any of those. I got a Gwenpool. This would have been a whole lot better if I got her before getting the Deadpool variant 100%. The six star could have helped me out, I think. <laughs> so whatever man it's okay uh, it's not what I want from a featured 6 star but it's okay alright 5 star awakening gem crystal I have like no use for this whatsoever being a throne breaker all the 5 stars I want to rank up I already have them awakened so um a mystic I already have a mystic so this is really not doing much for me like at all I was going to use a mystic on my 5 star OG scarlet witch but I got her awakened already from, I duplicated her from a featured 5 star. Alright, this 4 to 5 gem can be pretty viable because it saves me uh, viable rank up resources, but Mutant? Mutant usually is the best class to get rank up um, crystals for, but uh, uh, I'll show you in a second. Alright, so some 6 star tier 5 class fragments. I got Cosmic. So all the five star mutants that I have I already have ranked up, or I have them as a six star I want to rank up. Like I could use X23, Emma Frost, or I don't know, maybe Kitty Pride, Apocalypse. But I already or want to rank those up as six stars. And a Professor X, are, he sucks with Suicide Mastery, so I'm not gonna rank him up. For my six star characters, mutants. You can see, I already have X-23 Awakened, I have Emma Frost Awakened. Maybe, you know, I have all these mutants I want to rank up as 6 stars, but not as 5 stars. See, that's a problem. Variant rewards are directed at 5 star rewards and resources, not 6 stars. Alright, now we're going to my second account. Like I said, I um, only got completion rewards on my second account. So, no 100% rewards. But this 4 to 5 gem is definitely still viable on my second account because rank up resources are harder to come by because it's a second account. I don't put that much time or effort into it. But this cosmic is perfect for Venom. So I've said it before, but I'll say it again. This account, I rank up a lot of Spider-Verse champions because Spider-Verse champions, a lot of them don't go great with Suicide Mastery. So I rank them on this account instead. See, I have so many Spider-Man characters. Spider-Gwen, Penny Parker, Cosmic Spider-Man, Spider-Man Skill, Spider-Man Tech, Miles Morales, Spider-Pig. I have them all ranked up. And then I have some Spider-Verse um, villains like Mysterio and uh, Vulture ranked up. I also want to rank up Green Goblin at some point. Symbiotes too. Carnage, Venom Pool, Red Goblin, Symbiote Supreme. Like I said um, earlier, Cosmic Spider-Man, and now Venom all ranked up on this account. And they all have great synergies together too, so it's awesome having all these characters together because they have great synergies together. So this is my team that I use to 100% on my, my main account. Nebula, Massacre, uh, 6 star rank 3, Domino, and then Proxima Midnight and Red Hulk for synergy. 
And then, whenever I didn't need Nebula, I took out ne Nebula and Proxima Midnight and brought in Hitmonkey and then the five star rank five Domino. So this is most mostly what I did, which is heavy spamming with <laughs> Domino over and over again. And then Hitmonkey with his really strong critical hits was also really viable. And then this is also a, a sui- Okay, there's, there's one thing I like about this variant. It's suicide friendly because all the, um, all the Deadpool characters have a passive regeneration the whole entire fight. So my Massacre, every time he, he takes bleed, poison, and recoil damage, he's just constantly healing most of that back. So that's one thing I did actually like about this variant. And this is on my second account. Uh, I have the 5 star rank 5 Venom Pool, Gwen Pool, and Black Widow. And then as backup characters, I have the 5 star rank 4 Gold Pool, and the 6 star Yondu. So yeah. At the end of the day, not an exciting opening, not an exciting variant. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't really like the rewards I got, except I was able to rank up Venom on my second account, so that's kind of cool. It's just, I don't know. They dropped the ball with this variant. It's like, MCOC is slowly dying every month. Just gives me less and less of a reason to spend any time playing this game. Like, I really had to be bored to play this variant and get 100%. Let me know what you guys thought about this variant.